Hello, I'm Ron from Uzinist, and we're doing another video today about setting up the work CNC machine to begin a job. So in your CAM program, you have a thing called your work zero, or your zero position. So with that, we need it to match the work zero on the work CNC machine. The work CNC machine has two coordinate systems, the work zero and the machine zero. To get the machine zero, we hone the machine. The machine is now honed and the machine position now reads minus three, minus three, minus three. So now we need to set the work zero to match our CAM program. In our case, in our CAM program, we have the work zero set to the front left corner at the top of the workpiece. You could have it set to the top of the workpiece in the center of the workpiece or the back right, doesn't matter where it is, as long as when you set up your machine, the work zero matches the zero in your CAM program. So ours is set there, so I'm going to roughly jog the machine to be over this corner. While it's moving, I'm just going to quickly take the dust shoe off so I can see the cutting bit. So I'm just going to bring the z-axis down close to the top of the material. So first, what we're going to do is okay the x-axis edge, which is the edge along here. To do that, we'll move the cutting bit across so it's past the edge, and then we'll gradually jog it this way until it touches the edge, and then we've located the edge. So I'm just gonna jog it across. Just need to make sure it will touch the edge. Come down on the z-axis. Now I'm going to jog it in small steps until it touches this bit of paper. So once it grabs this bit of paper, we know it's touching the edge of the material. I'm just going to increase the step size to make it a bit quicker to get closer initially. Bring it back down to 0.1 mil step size. So I can just fill that bite in now. So now we have located the edge of the material. I'm going to bring the Z axis back up to clear the top surface. So what we want, we want the edge of the material to be in line with the centre of the workpiece. At the moment, it's in line with the edge. The, the cutting bit is 8th inch, so we need to shift it across this way, 16th inch, which is 1.5625mm. So I'm just going to type that in and move it across, like so. Now the centre of the cutting bit is in line with the centre, or the edge of this material. Repeat the same procedure for the Y. Bring it back down so it will at least touch the edge. And now let's put the paper in position. Reduce the step size down to 0.1mm so we can accurately locate it. So I can just fill that bite in now. So we'll take away a bit of paper, shift it back up. And same again, the edge is now in line with the side of the end mill, but we actually want it in line with the centre. So I need to, need to move it positive y-axis half the diameter of the mill bit. So 1.5625 mil. So now the end mill is directly over that corner. We've just got to do the same for the Z. So I will move it down. It's pretty close now. Just change it to 0.1 mil step size so we can locate it accurately. Let's just bite it now. I will remove the piece of paper. And now this is our work zero. So to save this, in the machine, press the reset zero button. 
So now your work position on your machine should read 0, 0, 0, 0, and your machine position will read the coordinates of this from your home position. So now I'm going to rehome the machine. I'm going to put the dust shoe back on. So now the machine is homed. This again reads minus 3, minus 3 under machine position. But now under work position, it reads the coordinates of this corner relative to this. So now, for instance, if I want to go straight back to this corner, I press the return to zero button. So in this case, as I'm already there, I'm going to start the job from here. But in our CAM program, and the machine works in absolute coordinate positions. So as we have the work position set and the machine position set, it doesn't matter where we actually click send the job, it will still work from that position. So we can start over here and it will still work correctly on this material. So I'm going to turn the dash on. I'm going to turn the router on. And I'll send the file. So as you can see, the sign is now complete. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any other suggestions for videos, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for some more videos coming soon.